good y'all what's poppin welcome to another video on the personal channel so today we're actually gonna be talking about what it takes to be a zumba instructor now i've been a zumba instructor for a year and a half now yo oh my god time truly does fly and a lot of you guys are constantly asking me in my dm like oh my god how'd you do it how'd you start working at la fitness things like that so here is the long awaited video so first things first one of the main reasons i decided to actually become a Zumba instructor is because A, I really like to dance. One of my passions that I've had since I was a child. B, I love having free benefits, okay? And one of the benefits of being an LA fitness instructor of any kind is that you get to use their amenities for free. I could go to any LA fitness in the country and go there for free, okay? So that is a major perk. And at the time when I decided to become a Zumba instructor, I was literally at my my fittest okay that's when I just got off of keto I was really working out a lot so honestly um, a free gym membership can't hurt okay and see honestly it was one of those things where I honestly wanted to start dancing more and I felt like you know what if I'm getting paid to dance it's gonna force me to dance more in other ways as well so those were my three main reasons now let's just start from the beginning now shall we now when it comes to being a Zumba instructor a lot of people don't talk about how a lot of times it could be extremely confusing because there are so many different zin memberships okay so when you're looking to be certified to do zumba you need to understand that there are so many different types okay it's not just oh i'm gonna be a zumba instructor okay and i'm mainly telling you guys this because i ended up getting the wrong zumba certification when i first first started so essentially in 2000 if i'm not maybe it was 2018 or 19 I went and got a Zumba strong certification and this is after being inspired and losing a lot of weight from doing Zumba while I was on keto so I went thought I was going to get a regular Zumba certification I got there and they was like oh yeah welcome to Zumba strong guys understand it's not regular Zumba we about to be getting down and dirty we about to be doing push-ups sit-ups now I'm just sitting there like mm, wagwan what does that mean uh, that don't make no damn sense. I was so confused, y'all. When I tell y'all, I was thoroughly perplexed. I was thoroughly perplexed. So if you guys are not aware, Zumba Strong is essentially Zumba's hit program. And if y'all know anything about hit, y'all, that shit is serious, okay? Um, you are on the floor, you are up on your feet, you are all around, and it's literally cultivated to make you get the best workout experience possible, but it's not for the faint of heart. If you are doing HIT workouts, you are literally going to be the most fit in your life, okay? And honestly, since I had just got off keto and I was like really a lot more motivated and like in the gym, I was probably doing like two workouts a day, like I was really out there i was able to get through the training which we're going to get into a little bit however would i ever in my right mind teach a zumba strong class i don't even know that shit was a lot like when i'm telling y'all it was a lot like y'all like you're doing a lot okay like it's 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 a lot so when it comes to zumba certifications there's zumba kini okay like i mentioned there's zumba strong there's zumba aqua or aqua zumba i'm not sure um how they say it there's so many different ones so make sure when you're trying to get your zumba certification certification you know exactly which one you're signing up for why you're signing up for it and most importantly you know where you're going to get hired okay don't just go and like oh i want to be a zumba instructor and go get a certification because the zumba certifications cost money yes ladies and gentlemen okay after you're done getting certified for zumba you pay your 300 some odd dollars you have to pay a monthly fee now again depending on which one you get it could be anywhere from 20 to 60 dollars a month i pay 63 something dollars that's because i have two so they knocked off like a good discount i think it's like they knocked off an extra like 35 dollars or whatever for me because I have two um, but some people get extra discounts some people don't get a discount like it's so many different factors that vary on how much you pay however it is a monthly fee for the rest of your life you could pay quarterly you could pay yearly whatever the case may be your Zen license is supposed to be in good standing if you are going to teach now I will say a lot of teachers will sit there get hired and stay where they're at and never ever pay the Zen license ever again however a lot of people choose to stay in compliance because there are rare occasions where Zen will find out 
that you're not in compliance and will fuck around and make sure you never teach again. <laughs> okay, so it, it, it really depends on you, what you want to do, but I make sure I stay in compliance. <laughs> okay, like, but yeah, okay, it is what it is. Now, training, okay, what is Zumba training like? It is anywhere from six to eight hours. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people think that Zumba training is just shaking your butt, it's just dancing, it's simple, it's easy, it ain't shit. There's a reason you don't see a lot of people taking Zumba classes every single day, back to back to back. There's a reason why you're not supposed to take Zumba every single day. There's also a reason why you don't see a lot of men in Zumba classes because they can't take that shit, okay? A lot of men could lift weights all day, but when it comes to cardio, especially heavy cardio like Zumba, they can't take that shit, okay? I've had men just pop in the class just to, you know, get their cardio up before they work out and they can't even last through the warm up. <laughs> like, okay, you can lift 100, you know, okay? Like, okay, you could bench press 100, but what's your heart rate like? Can you keep up to one song? Can you keep up to a BPM of 172 for a merengue? Because a lot of y'all, like, it's so sad. It's like, how you in the gym all day, but you can't keep up in a dance fitness based class. Like, it's very strange. <laughs> um, I, 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 I just, don't understand it. And that's what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to Zumba, okay? A lot of people be like, oh, it looks simple, it looks easy. Um, no, it's not as easy as it looks. First of all, you definitely do need rhythm in order to take Zumba, but at the same time, some people have absolutely no rhythm and they be in there just doing whatever it is, just keep their body moving and they're drenched, okay? It can be dangerous to be in there if you really don't have the stamina and um, you might just pass out, you feel me? So it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. When it comes to the training, it is anywhere from six to eight hours. Sometimes it could be six, depending on the time allotted to the master trainer. There is usually a master trainer there to train you on the ins and outs of being a Zumba instructor, tips, advice, and things like that. So regular Zumba training is really not that deep. It's really, really simple. Regular Zumba training just consists on you learning the different genres, knowing the difference, getting the steps correctly, while other ones like Zumba Strong, chow. I'll never go through that shit again. I'm talking about you're getting on the floor, you're doing push-ups, you're doing sit-ups. It's literally like, a drill type of day. Like you're being drilled all day. You're barely sitting. And it's one of those things where they're like, if you walk out that door, you are not getting certified. It's that serious. Like when I'm telling y'all, I didn't go to the gym for three straight weeks after that. Like I was in legit pain. Like my body never hurt after working out. Like it was so bad. Okay. So understand, right? You are not going to just be getting a Zumba license or doing Zumba classes and just willy nilly dancing. Oh my God, it's fun. Anyone who has taken a Zumba class understands, okay? Zumba is not just fun and games. Zumba is not just fun. Zumba is an actual workout. And if you are the teacher or if you are training to become a teacher, it's even worse. So what is the difference between Zumba and a dance fitness class? So Zumba is specifically a dance-based fitness class that is to the tune of Latin-based music. However, it has a specific format. While dance fitness could be to any genre, any music, any choreographer, and have any format, to be quite honest with you. Zumba is extremely specific. They tell you what to do, how to do it, and when you pay for Zen, the whole point of paying for Zen is so that you can get everything you need. However, I will say probably over 90% of teachers do their own thing, like me. If anything, the most I do is probably use a song here and there if I actually like it, but most of the time, we use our own shit because a lot of the dances on the Zen app are very corny, in my opinion anyway. But for the most part, a lot of people don't understand that dance fitness classes and Zumba classes are not the same. Some dance fitness classes are actually way more intense than Zumba. So it really depends on the instructor as well because a lot of instructors will sit there and they'll actually do straight from the Zumba playbook. Everything is straight Zen. Everything is straight from the Zumba app. They don't do nothing else outside of that. And you know, you'll probably be fine. You probably won't pass out. Everything you know is moderated. While there's some Zumba instructors that do everything or organic all themselves and honestly you can do that because when you are getting trained for Zumba they tell you to tailor it specifically to your students needs and your demographic so say if you do end up in an area where it is predominantly African or it is predominantly Chinese or it's predominantly Indian do you really think they want to hear salsa bachata merengue all day no you're gonna have to throw in something that resonates with them so they do tell us we are allowed to do that however they there is a certain percentage of the music that does have to be Latin based as opposed to a dance fitness class that honestly could be whatever it is that you want as long as you're dancing and you're squatting and you're doing all of the basic things that are considered
considered fitness, dance and fitness. Okay, so that's one of the main differences. A lot of people don't understand the difference. A lot of people think that, you know, both are easy, but honestly, a lot of people can't even handle it, all right? Not at all. Whatever it is that you choose to do in terms of Zumba, whether it's Zumba Strong, Zumba Bikini, Zumba Fitness, Aqua, Zumba, whatever the case may be, just know exactly where you're going to work. And that goes into how I did it and how I think most people should do it. So when I started out my fitness journey for me, I started out at Planet Fitness. And I will say I hate Planet Fitness with a passion. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it smells. I hate the colors. I hate everything about it. I hate the feng shui. And I've been to numerous Planet Fitness, okay? I just don't like Planet Fitness. Like it's just, it doesn't resonate with me at all. So essentially I was on a hunt for a better gym. And near me, it's either Planet Fitness, Blink, or LA Fitness. So I tried Blink and I didn't really like Blink either specifically because they didn't really even have an aerobics room, neither did Planet Fitness. And on my off time, when I didn't go to Planet Fitness, I did go to a community center that did do Zumba. And that's where I got the idea to even become a Zumba instructor in the first place. So I was like, you know what? I need to go to a gym that has classes. So I started doing some digging and I saw that LA Fitness had classes. So I'm like, okay, that's perfect. I could just go to um, LA Fitness, found the LA Fitness near me, started taking classes there, started going to, ooh, Chad, we're gonna have to give this man a fake name, to an instructor named Carlos's classes, followed by another instructor named Serena's classes. Hey, mommy. She's my Zumba mom. I absolutely love her. And Serena and Carlos basically pushed me to become an instructor. Like, oh my God, like you can really dance. Like you're really good. Like you should really become an instructor. So honestly, after a year and a half, yes, y'all, they literally had to probe me for a year and a half. Now, pause. I already had the Zumba strong at this point, but I never had the regular one at this point. They were just telling me like, yo, go get the regular one, start teaching. We got you. We could train you. We could this, we could that. I finally went and did it. So this whole time while they were probing me and telling me to get it, they were letting me teach in their classes. They were basically mentoring me. Serena would let me do two to three songs. She'd be like, okay, next week, I'm going to throw you on the spot. Make sure you have one to two songs and you're ready to dance on the spot. Like she is literally my Zumba mom. Like I absolutely love Serena with a passion. And then Carlos, you know he would just like let me do some of his steps in the front or whatever but let me just say me and Carlos no longer really speak and Carlos is a whole nother story for a whole nother time sign up for the patreon that's why I put all the private stories I don't wanna mm, 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 mm. Zumba drama is a whole nother playing field anyways so basically um, after literally a year and some change I finally was able to secure an audition okay and this is after them all struggling to get people to even come to sub for them okay so la fitness has a sub issue where people are always subbing out and they never have anyone like i would have instructors calling me talk about some hey ivana like could you like please like go to blah 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 and sub for me and i'm not even working there yet y'all so i thought like yo this is gonna be the perfect opportunity i'm gonna get this job i'm gonna be a zumba instructor and it's gonna be great because clearly need instructors right they clearly need people there to help them because i'm getting called to go and sub classes <sighs> auditions 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 so i go to my audition i prep three songs a warm-up and a cool down y'all like i said i've been preparing it for this for at least a year and some change so i'm like i got this shit bro i did my whole warm-up going to the first song she pauses it skips to the next song pauses it skips to the next song pauses it now i had like a haitian song a merengue song and a salsa song i don't even remember the order um and she's like oh, could you do something like um more hispanic what the fuck is more hispanic than merengue and, and salsa what the fuck so i'm like okay let me do some bachata like i don't know like what do you want me to do so I'm just trying to like, yo, at this point I'm shook. Y'all already know I have anxiety. I have all these other mental health issues. So I'm just thrown because I'm expecting to do all of my routines in succession completely. Nobody told me that the fucking audition is like a five minute thing. I kid y'all not, I was in and out of there in probably five to 10 minutes. After that, I'm like, okay, um, like, all right, what do I do now? She's like, okay, you can cool down. I start cooling down, I'm stretching, the do, you know, doing all of that. You have to talk to the people. You have to tell them what they're doing. You have to do that. Listen, this lady, if anybody watching this um, is in New Jersey, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. That's all I gotta say. I ain't gonna say no names. I'm not even gonna give her a fake name. Maybe I will on Patreon when I'm telling the other stories, but this lady was irritating the hell out of me. Like, she was really pissing me the fuck off. Oh, I understand that when it comes to Zumba, you guys are told to non verbally cue, especially because the music be loud, but this is LA Fitness. And in LA Fitness, you know, we tell people specifically, you know, what to do because they may not know what to do. I understood that. It, that made sense. But it was just like, I didn't talk this whole time.
time. Now you expect me to talk. Like, mind you, how am I supposed to know, though? You feel me? So I'm just like, okay, like, all right. So I'm just stretching, whatever, finish it out. I'm like, all right, Um, when will I find out? Oh, uh, we don't have any open positions right now. I know you have open positions, lady. Because I've been sitting here running around like a chicken with my head cut off doing subs for people under the table. So how don't you have any positions? Mind you, this whole time Serena's sitting there like, hey, I sent you someone to interview. Why haven't you interviewed her yet? Why hasn't she got an audition? Why don't you hire her? She's usually free. She's usually open. Why haven't you this? Why haven't you that? And she's barely answered. I finally get an interview. I think I aced it in my opinion. And you telling me you ain't got no positions. Okay, I went to my car and I cried my eyes out because I thought I did horrible, guys. Like, I thought, like, my audition was so bad because, like, the way this lady, she just didn't have no reaction. Like, she was just like, you don't have any positions. Like, the whole time she's looking at me, she was just like, mm -hmm. skip, skip. The only comment she made was, mm, you have a lot of energy, don't you? Because a lot of my um, routines at the time were very high energy. She's like, you have a lot of energy, don't you? Should I not? One week goes, no call. One month goes, no calls. At this point, I'm beginning to think it's safe to assume that I'm not going to get a call back. Whatever. I just put the dream in a hole. I was very upset about the situation because, again, I thought I aced it. Four months later, I get a call. I'm like, hello. Hi, Ivana. Who's this? It's such and such. Um, I did your interview um, and your audition way back at LA Fitness. Oh, hi. I never really got a call back. I auditioned like five five months ago really five months ago oh wow oh i'm so sorry about that wow has it really been that long you know damn well it's been that long bro like so at this time like whatever They're like yeah you know we we have some open positions available um wh where where are you located da, 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 whatever so so boom i chose west orange and i chose newark and if i'm not mistaken i know i had three classes but i don't remember how it was set up i think i might have had like two in newark and then one in west orange i'm not sure i'm not really i don't remember how it was set up at all but nonetheless i didn't end up having kearney until later on when they were being really really childish and they took the class from someone else and gave it to me again follow me on patreon i'm gonna be doing story times on the zumba drama because zumba drama is just oh my god a whole nother class of what the fuck long story short i say all of this to say inquire about the audition process and know where you're going to be hired okay because it's a lot that goes into being a Zumba instructor. It's not just show up, dance, and go home. There's a lot of cattiness that goes into it. Um, there's a lot of ridiculousness that goes into it. There's a lot of logistics that goes into it. And um, sometimes it could be kind of expensive. Like I said, you do have to pay for a monthly membership. And um, yeah it's just a lot um like it, it truly is um if you don't have a mentor or anything like that like i did it is a lot harder i will say that i will say i was not nervous when i was teaching my classes because i was already up in front for like a year teaching in another person's class so when i already had a class i was like oh okay whatever like i know where to stand i know how to do this i know how to work the machines and stuff so it's not that hard for me but for a lot of you that are probably watching this who are probably going in blind who probably actually were able to get an easier solution to getting hired is gonna be more difficult um so i would say do the easier songs that you know do something that you are already comfortable with don't try to go in doing something that you just saw on instagram like all right i'm gonna try this on my students today trust me it's it's harder when you haven't practiced in front of a class um for those of you guys who happen to be teaching in locations that don't have mirrors y'all the mirror is actually your friend i never noticed how hard it is to teach dance without a mirror until recently i didn't have a mirror to teach kids um during the summer and i was like what the fuck this is so annoying um the luxury of having a mirror mirror is something that a lot of us take for granted okay so if you don't have a mirror it is a lot harder so you have to practice teaching without a mirror um you also need to keep in mind that some people are the zumba police you guys <laughs> Y'all probably looking at me like the Zumba police. Yes, yeah, some people will snitch on you for not doing specific types of music that is supposedly required by Zumba, right? The regular Zumba program is not that strict. They want you to modify it to your specific audience and your demographic. So if clearly you're in an area with predominantly African people, you might want to play heavy African music and do heavy African-based choreography. If you're in an area with a heavy Asian population, you might want to do K-pop and stuff like that. However, I will say 
say, both of those aren't necessarily Zumba, okay? Zumba is Latin based music. So if you are going to do that, the whole class can't be 90% K-pop or 90% Afrobeat, you feel me? And there's a lot of instructors that do that, okay? They'll sit there, they come to class and the shit is fucking a whole full blown hip hop class. And if your demographic happens to be 90% black, I get it. However, you have to incorporate the core or you're gonna have the Zumba police. Now, what is the Zumba police, might I add? There be people, okay, whether it's staff at your establishment or students in the class that will go complain and will call Zumba corporate on you and say, this instructor is not following the Zumba rules. There is no Hispanic music in here. There is no merengue. There is no bachata. There is no cumbia. There is no nothing. And this is not a Zumba class. This is not what I signed up for. I did not sign up to do hip hop. I did not sign up to do K-pop. I did not sign up to do compa. I did not sign up to do reggae. Like they will snitch on you. I kid you not. Um, luckily it hasn't happened to me yet. Knock on floor or oh, wood. I do have a hardwood floor, so. Knock on wood. Oh, Sage jumped up. She don't like when people knock on doors. Sage is, it, it was me, Sage. It was me. Come back. She don't like doors, y'all. It's a real thing. And that shit, like Zoom, Zumba, Zen will call your ass and be like, we heard that you were not following our guidelines. Please stop it. <laughs> like, they will chop. Child, child, child. It's, mm -mm, it's not a game. Same thing with if you do not pay your membership. Um, In some way, somehow, they catch wind of you not paying your membership or they find out that you're still teaching and you're not paying your membership. They will call your ass out on it. So you drop my pillow. They will find out and be like, um, can you not? Like, child, Zen don't be playing that, okay? So it's one of those things where you really do need to be careful um, and you need to understand that sometimes not everybody is for you. Um, when you become a teacher, even some people that you used to be friends with, some people that you used to be cool with, probably not gonna be cool with you no more because now you're an instructor. Um, it, it's, it's very disheartening and it's very annoying, but hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on tips and tricks and things like in terms of cueing and choreography and advice and things like that because now this video is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for listening if you guys want more videos make sure you guys join my patreon that's where I do my dedicated uploads that are nowhere else on the internet make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and I'm gonna see y'all next time <laughs>